Welcome to Module 4, Drafting Your Design Proposal. Creating and communicating a design plan are critical skills for an instructional designer. Preparing an external representation of your design allows other stakeholders on the project to review your work and offer feedback before you move to the development phase. These stakeholders can include other designers and developers, the client, subject matter experts, or other decision makers on the project. A design plan structure and level of formality vary based on the project requirements and your own preferences. While some projects have highly structured design planning and communication requirements involving detailed templates, standards, and checklists, others do not and allow you the freedom to choose how you'd like to lay out your plan. For the purposes of this course and for this stage of our design project, we're most interested in your ability to prepare a clear overview of your early conception of your lesson design. By the end of this module, we'll evaluate your initial plan using some foundational questions, such as, is the lesson targeting relevant objectives based on the learning standards? Are you situating the lesson in a context that'll be relevant to your identified audience? Is the scope appropriate for the project requirements? including what will be covered within the defined time and the context of the learning environment? And what strategies and activities will you integrate to engage students in the learning process? During this module, we'll focus on creating the design document for your lesson plan using the design plan template. This document serves as the foundation from which you'll build your actual lesson materials and resources for adult basic educators to use with their students. Looking ahead, in the next few weeks, we'll create a prototype of your work and evaluate what you've created.